Hey what's going on guys welcome back to another video. So it just recently came to my attention that one of the world's first raiders for the Vow of the Disciple raid actually just got his account banned. So let's go ahead and get into this one today. So basically this is all about account recoveries and boosting and to quickly recap for anybody who doesn't know what those two things are. It's basically when you or somebody else hands over their account credentials to somebody else so that way they can log into that account and do a various activity for you. Typically they have people do like trials of Osiris or raids or something like that because most people just can't complete them because they don't have the skill or the time to actually do it. So they just hand their account over to somebody else and they just do it for them. Typically they get paid and that's the main motivation behind these account recoveries. And I just wanted to quickly recap so everybody knows what those two things are. So in case you don't know, back in August of 2021, Bungie actually updated their policy and they said that if you got caught doing a recovery or boosting service on another account that you were actually breaking terms of service and you were at risk of getting that account banned. They say that since then we have closely monitored suspected activity and issued our first ban wave against identified violators. We want to assure the community that we will fairly enforce our policy on player conduct for even the most skilled or well-known players. So it's quite obvious from last week's TWAB that Bungie is putting their foot down and enforcing their terms of service much more strictly now. So basically they say they don't care who you are or how good you are. Nobody is above the law in this situation. And if you get caught breaking their TOS, you will get your account banned. So that brings me to today's story. And as you can see here from Destiny the Game on Twitter, back on March 5th when they announced the day one winners here, we actually have all of them. And keep in mind that guy named Slap right there. And then not too long ago, we actually just got a tweet from Slap on Twitter and he said, so uh, yeah, I am banned. I don't really know why, but all good. So I don't know if it's a coincidence or not, but right after the TWAB dropped on Thursday and Bungie said they did their first wave ban, he actually got his account banned right after that. And then he came on Twitter and told us about it. So I'm not going to sit here and say for sure. I actually have no idea why he got banned. Overall though, it is kind of weird with that timing. Right as Bungie says they actually initiated their first wave ban, he gets his account banned. So was he doing a recovery service or boosting service for somebody else or on his own account? I really don't know. Overall, you guys can let me know in the comment section below and let me know whether or not you think that account recoveries and boosting services should be against TOS and be taken so strictly or not. 